Hi guys, so I'm just gonna show you something really quickly. So I showed you before how to quit OBS uh, with the with the terminal script before on macOS, and now I'm gonna show you how to make that file with the with the um. Make a bat file with uh, on Windows to do the pretty much same exact thing. So first, control in. So first, let me just show you this. So this is what you need. You need to make uh, um. You need to open up Notepad, and then you need to basically make put at echo. And space off, and task kill space dash i am and for my case is this four slash capital i capital m space uh, in my case obs 64.exe space dash four slash f capital f and that'll be there and then if you wanted to you could put kill which will kill the terminal window but it does that automatically so so if you're running more scripts than this, you can basically put the kill if the terminal window is still open. I mean, if the CMD window is still open. Um, so when you do that, you press save. And when you save it, you can just click it. And then I'm not gonna click it because of when I do click it, it's going to close OBS. And so I'm just gonna talk about that for, for a little bit. So what that does, it just kills all current application versions of that. And so when when OBS is uh, is open, it will uh, it will basically stay stay open, and this will kill actually it even while recording. So it's just they're just. It's it's like it's it's a dirty shutdown. So there's that, and so I would only recommend pressing it when you're done recording. So and it'll basically still be in the icon down here. I mean the taskbar down here, but it will disappear once you actually move your mouse over there. So there's that. So I'm gonna show you now. I'm just gonna press the the button. Which you'll see right here. You see it right here. I'm I'm, I'm going to double click it, and you'll see what happens. Hi guys. So um, as you saw, OBS quit um abruptly because I basically just killed killed it. But when you're doing this and you're killing it during the recording, if possible. It would basically, as if you don't have it saved to MP, I mean MKV, it won't allow you to basically the 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 file will be corrupted. If it's AVI, and before it will be corrupted. If you just do an auto cut like that, the file will be ruined. So I recommend saving the file as MKV and then have it auto remux as a MP4. So it could save the file in MKV and and the and um save it to MPP4 after Remux so you wouldn't have to worry about um getting a corrupted file. But if if you do kill kill the file during an MKKV, you can just pick up everything that was before that and after it stopped for and after you turn back on computer or turn back on OBS or finish doing that or you're trying to basically kill something if something this is using too much disk space. You could literally just remux it into an MKV into an MP4 in OBS by clicking on file. By clicking on file and remux recording, and then add the remux there. Or you can just do do the remux and handbrake. Well, um, I just recommend doing it through OBS because it's it's quick through OBS handbrake. Take like ten minutes, depending on a five file size. So yeah, thanks for watching.
and uh, um um the the actual command is just to let you know is how how you, how you get the bat file is by how you get a bat file is by saving the file as and once you say save as you s press all files and then you put dot bat at the end it's not case sensitive but you put dot bat and it'll kill it. and then you save it save it to somewhere where you can find it and if you're using this script as uh, as a kill all for uh, for the application I'll keep it inside the application folder so when you're launching it with the stream deck you can just launch it with the stream deck but thanks for watching